All right, guys, I wasn't filming because I was catching bait, but just loaded up the well. We got about 120 sardines right now. Mixed in with some cigars. Beautiful, beautiful bait. I'm with CJ and Joe Bags. You know the deal. We're mutton fishing today, baby. We're gonna catch more bait, get some more footage. Probably need about 30, 40 more baits, then we're gonna go on the reef and deal some muttons. Oh my God, Jay, get back down. You don't understand what's bait you want. I'm telling you, it's whatever you bring oh, down oh. the camera. Oh no, no, Jay. Oh, oh, Two, three hundred. Oh. What do you got, Jay, four for? Sardines. Alrighty, guys, we got plenty of bait. I'm not even gonna fish all this bait today. And we're gonna go mutton fish. We're gonna about to start running and uh, see you guys when we get there. Get him. Oh, oh, we got a nice one on right now, Chief. Joe's got a nice one on right now, boys. We're getting a lot of bites, quick. We didn't expect to get this many bites here. We don't have so much tide, but that's gotta be a mutton, dude. See, like I said, we just gotta pick through the jacks, baby. Six pounder. We're picking them. That's three keepers in the box right now at the first spot, so stay tuned, baby. Yeah. Like, oh my God. Six pounders came Oh my God, Joe Meisters. The little one ate it. Back up. Very 16 and a half last year. I'm measuring that. Oh my god. Guess we're not, Guess we're not measuring them. Sleeper? Mm hmm. Oh my sleeper. Get him. Dead weight? Micro mutton. It might be alright. It's coming up a little easy. Mm hmm. Oh god. Right kind now. Beautiful mutton snapper. That one's about 16 inches. They gotta be 18 inches to keep, and we're allowed five per person, so we can keep 15 today. We got three in the box, so we're shooting for 12 more. If we can do a limit of 15 mutton snapper, and you guys don't drop a like on this video or subscribe, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. He's easy sleeping. No, no, he's he's so he's sleeping on you. Oh, easy sleeper! Nice, we got a mutton on right now, Chifo. Nice Keeper. Uh-huh. We got four keepers right now. Let's put the fourth one in the boat. Alrighty, you guys. This is mutton number four for us. This is about a 19 inch. We'll measure them for you real quick. Smallest keeper of the day. Yep, he's 19. If I pinch the tail, he's like 18 and a half without. Box is starting to look right. Nice. Joe's putting on a clinic this morning, boys. Uh huh. He's dark. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yesterday me and CJ fished. We mutton fished. We had perfect tide. What I'm talking about is tide is you want north current when you're bottom fishing because it keeps your bait way away from the boat. It's what you're looking for when you're bottom fishing. It's just and if you guys bottom fish, you know that. But we don't have a lot of tide this morning, so but we have literally just a trickle. Yesterday was smoking. Oh it, it changes overnight. It's crazy how fishing out front here in Jupiter changes literally overnight. Conditions change every single day. So we got two keeper muttons in the box right now. There's definitely some fish here. Hopefully we can get a big one. Stay tuned. We're going to catch them up. There's the old Joe Meister. Mm -hmm. We ain't leaving. Mm -hmm. Biggest one yet. Beautiful mutton snapper. Smells like a porgy. Anyway, he's going to keep. <laughs> Look at the tail sticking out of his mouth. Right there. That's how they eat it every single time. Dude, this thing <laughs> smells gross. We've probably picked through 20 jacks, but we have five keeper muttons in the box now. It's consistent, it's a very patient man's game. A lot of people don't have the patience for it. Every single time we're like, ah, we'll leave after this bait. Joey smokes a keeper, so I guess we're gonna keep sticking it out, boys. Oh yeah, get him, get him, get him. They're so sick. Cut, cut, cut. Short cobia. Short chobe. Double up here, boys. Oh. Wow, we might actually keep ah. I'd measure him, bro. Whoa. Keeper? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Another keeper. Dude, I had to keep. That's six. Yo, I got a mutton on, hold on. Dead bait, just got eight. Dead bait, just got eight. It's gotta be a mutton here. You gotta switch it up, boys. You can't let them catch on to you. Can't let them catch on to you. Dead Dean's always doing it. Chiefo, I'm out mutton you today. What's going on? Look at the old Chiefs right over there. 
the old mutton man chief. We got him six to zero right now. I think he's a little bit upset. Sick. I guess I'm sending another bed bay down. Come look at the cooler, Joe. How are we looking at? Damn. Looking right. What is that? Nine more to go. I know Jay keeps saying, what are you with me, mate? All right, so this is what I'm using. So I'm gonna trim his tail, just like that, and then cut him open a little bit. Looks like he's alive. See how he's still jiggling to a nice fresh bait in the current? And he's gonna sit there in the current just like this. Just like that, a little wiggle. I'm telling you, I know you might be laughing out on the, on the TV right now, but that's a mutton in about six minutes. I'm six minutes, I think. So I got about 30 feet a liter. I got a 6 0 ultra point, throwing it out there in the very little current we have. And then right here, I got a three way swivel to my main line. This is 65 pound braid, three way swivel, 50 pound Andy leader, about like 25, 30 feet of it. And then a little dropper loop, six ounce lead. Jay's fishing a four over there because we don't have a lot of tide. And when you don't have a lot of current, you have to let your bait down slow. Look, if you let it down too fast, your bait's gonna spin up down there. You gotta let it down super slow. When you have a lot of tide, you just free spool, it doesn't even matter. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Did, you go, did you go to peel off of this? That's yeah. what we like to see, boys. We're getting them now. Look at how sick they look down there. You start to see the pink, the red in the tail. So pretty. They're all the same size, dude. Perfect fish. Look at that. Beautiful mutton snapper. That's number eight, baby. Dead bait shoot. What you laughing at, big dog? Mm -hmm. No, I think he's small. Okay. This is a short mutton snapper right here. We're gonna go measure him. He's probably 16 and a half, 17. Inches. 17, yeah. See that? Just an inch short. See you, buddy. I don't care. You guys know my good buddy CJ over here. He always helps me out filming really good YouTube videos. He's been a great help to start the YouTube channel. My day one subscribers have stayed with me since I started posting a year and a half ago. You guys know I've been fishing with him forever. CJ's got a business. He's working on a business right now. It's called Ceram Lock Coatings. I'm gonna let him take it away and explain a little bit about what he does. All right, yeah, look, check out. See all this blood we've had here? Probably been there for like, yeah, bonitas, kingfish, bonitas, probably been there for like an hour. So, just a quick little scrub here. Look how easy that glides off. It's been dried on the boat for an hour. No soap, nothing. So Ceram Lock is a ceramic coating. It's actually like a clear coat. Um, and basically it lasts a long time. It's easy to clean. You don't have to worry about it. Just fish and then get back to the dock and hose it off. It's so much easier on you guys, especially when you're catching fish. So like CJ said, when you're catching fish like that, like I've personally, I've fished with a couple people to where you put a fish in the boat and they're instantly like fish could be biting and they're scrubbing the boat right there. And it's, that is my biggest pet peeve ever in fishing. It's like, Fish are biting, you catch the fish now, you clean the boat when you're not catching fish, or when the fish aren't biting. You don't do it when there's fish biting. CJ actually does boats here local. I live in Jupiter. CJ lives in Jupiter. He does boats all through Palm Beach County. It's super cheap as well. If you guys want to uh, get your boat coated or even a sample, we'll come by, do a little sample, see if you like it. I'll have his link down below, or you can even comment something about it and I'll message you guys. Support Jay like you guys support me.